It's bright and sunny as the drivers line up on the grid. And here we've got George Russell. A top 10 position today, but will they be able to capitalise on it? And it's the other McLaren. They'll be starting the race from the bottom half of the grid, so there's a fair bit of ground to make up. Everything's been building to this. This is it. We're moments away now at the Canadian Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go. Lights out and away we go. Welcome, guys, to episode number eight of this McLaren career mode. We are here in, uh, in gorgeous Montreal. Unfortunately, qualifying uh, did not go so well for us yesterday. As you can see, we're already three wide on the outside uh, with Pierre Gasly making a very bold move, actually picking up a two for one there. Uh, as the Frenchman moves up into position number six, and we already we are, we're already down to P8. So, uh, unfortunately, like I said, qualifying didn't go particularly well. As you can see, Richard Vachor didn't even make it out of Q3, uh, or didn't even make it out of Q1, and uh, we really seem to struggle here around the Canadian uh, GP circuit. So, unfortunately, in that regard, um, yeah, qualifying didn't go very well. But as you can see here, uh, a pretty mixed up grid. As you can see, the top four have all opted for a set of mediums, as Jack Dewan is uh, at the top of the board, uh, picked up his first career pole position. Um, yeah, so so long as we're able to keep up, uh, I think we could play a bit of strategy once the pit stops come, but uh, for the moment, I think uh, we're just going to have to settle here in position number 8. And uh, as, as sad as it sounds, position number eight, position number 18 rather here uh, with Richard Vashore. So, yeah, we'll see what happens going forward. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump forward into the race just a little bit. At least I thought we were going to have an opportunity to overtake Espan Ocon. I think that's exactly what we'll do now. So, really want to make sure we get this overtake done. Uh, actually, a pretty convenient overtake there for ourselves. Hopefully, we can get ourselves up into the DRS range of Pierre Gasly, which we've done uh, almost immediately as Gasly's fallen off the back of Mick Schumacher. So, we might have a shot for a double overtake, however. Um, although, we do set the new path stop of the race. Gasly was able to close up onto the back of Mick. And, uh, yeah, nothing really to be done there as Ocon uh, will also be passed by Jane Daruvula. Talk about uh, a bad weekend getting worse, or a bad stretch of races, really, for Ocon uh, seemingly getting worse. So Daruvula and ourselves moving forward as uh, some of those on the set of soft compound tires starting to fall back uh, just a little bit. Yeah, Jane Daruvula into the pit lane this time by for Alpha Tower, doing a really good job this afternoon. Unfortunately, a little bit of a hold there as uh, the passing Cal Williams will go ahead and make his way uh, into his pit stall. Also, Zane Maloney and Oliver Behrman coming in uh, for their first pit stops in this race. So we're going to call... Uh, Richard Vershaw in this time by um, to go on to his set of hard compound tires, although uh, I can't really be expecting much out of the Dutchman as uh, he's woefully underperformed. Basically every margin at, at every point this season. The first of your race leaders, I guess, besides Oscar Piastri coming in this time, uh, Jack, Jack Dewan rather, uh, coming into the pit lane. You can see, I mean, a pretty, not, not that great of a pit stop there uh, from the Haas team, but as you can see there in the background, a lot of teams setting up uh, to receive their drivers this time by. You can hear the, the passing car of Jane Darubla going by now. I believe Dewan should be okay uh, to come out ahead of the Indian driver. That is exactly what has happened as uh, your former race leader uh, will now make his way out on track in position number 12. Yeah, waiting to receive Russell in the box. A little bit of a hold there from Gao. Oh, no. Well, that kind of backfired. So, unfortunately, held up there by, uh, I believe that was Yuki Sonoda and Mick Schumacher as Gasly will go ahead and make his way out of the pit lane. So, uh, yeah, Schumacher got held up a ton. Um, I mean, he led the train coming in, unfortunately, and will cycle out uh, at the back in position number 12. We'll see where he comes out in relation to everybody else, but uh, a, a tragic pit stop there. We'll see where Verstappen cycles out. So you can see, wow, there you go. So uh, Jane Darubla uh, currently fighting Jack Dewan for the race lead, although those two will cycle out in the race lead. Uh, which one of them will come out uh, in the end, I believe, will be determined by who will have DRS here. And it looks like that'll be uh, Jack Jane Darubla. So Jane Darubla, uh, I believe the first lap led of his career as uh, he cycles out into the race lead here at the Canadian GP. Dewan will be P2, Piastri P3, uh, with Verstappen and Gazza coming out in P4, uh, P4 uh, in position number five. me that is a serious collision wow just when you think it's going great unfortunately uh yeah jack Dewan has had a lockup has taken Let's out take not only oscar piastri but jane okay, darubla as well ah oh, darubla almost got through it yeah you saw there piastri went through the barrier uh unfortunately the australian driver will be out of this race in position number 20 jack Dewan has an absolutely destroyed car and uh, where is Jane Darubla? Yeah, Jane Darubla back here. It looks like the rear wing has been able to survive at least the initial impact, but what kind of uh, suspension and floor damage there might be uh, will have to be seen at a later date. But either way, uh, yeah, your top three have all, come in to, have all come together, rather, and that will cycle Max Verstappen to the front of this field. Okay, so I can't imagine uh, much is going to happen here going forward until the, at least the, uh, the DRS becomes enabled. 
uh, as everybody kind of fans out as they make their way down to turn number one. Although, uh, yeah, Alexander Albert making a pretty fair attempt uh, to get ahead of Leonard Norris. However, that uh, that really wasn't all that smart. Uh, although George Russell is actually going to go for it at the inside of Callum Williams. Minutes. We're going to make sure uh, that we cement ourselves in this position. We might actually be able to pull this off. So I, I stand corrected. So there was an overtake made uh, before DRS was uh, was activated. Actually, we have a run on Alexander Albon, although it looks like Russell's going to be content to hold, or content rather, uh, to hold himself in P5. So. Well, unfortunately, the exact thing that took Jay Andruvel out is uh, going to be the thing that takes not only himself, but also teammate Mick Schumacher and also Red Bull teammate um, Esteban Ocon out of this race. Talk about a rough day at the office for some of these guys. But either way, uh, safety car has been called our second safety car of this race. As uh, you can see, Deruvlo will go ahead and make his way into the pit lane. So, so we get ourselves back going now. So yeah, Norris, Gasly, Albon in your top three. Verstappen, Russell, Callum Williams uh, looking like he'll be on uh, on pace to score his first points of his young uh, F1 career currently running in P6. And then Maloney, Joe, Crawford, and Oliver Behrman uh, round out your top ten. So... Yeah, I, every time that I keep saying that something's going to happen, or that nothing's going to happen, something happens. As unfortunately, Cal Williams has caught us napping the same way that we caught uh, Alexander Albon napping, as uh, he will go ahead and move himself up into P5. So unfortunate there for George Russell. Um, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna say nothing's going to happen, and maybe something else will happen before the end of this race, but uh, yeah, that was a bit silly. Max Verstappen. They spun the car. What a disaster. That's going to be a big blow to the team. Will they be able to recover? We'll see. Well, talk about a day going from bad to worse. Every time that I say nothing's going to happen, things immediately happen. So uh, we are going to continue doing that. Unfortunately, Callum Williams, uh, with that Verstappen spin, has lost touching distance with uh, your top three of Alexander Albon, Pierre Gasly, and Lando Norris. So... Yeah, unfortunately in that regard, that will give us a bit of an opportunity to go ahead and, uh, and burn all this extra fuel that we have on board as Dearest becomes enabled this time by. But uh, yeah, this now becomes effectively a three-horse race between Alexander Albon, Pierre Gasly, and Lando Norris. However, Gasly uh, was looking to be in the best spot possible. However, he's currently defending for Lando Norris. This might just might allow Alexander Albon to break away and pick up his third victory uh, of, the scene, of the season rather, and become the first three-time winner this afternoon. So... All right, final straightaway here. Pierre Gasly going to make one final shot here at Alexander Albon. These guys have been swapping lead back and forth for every single lap. It looks like Gasly's going to have to wait until after uh, we pass the wall of champions. So through the final chicane, Alexander Albon looking pretty good, taking a defensive line. That's going to give Gasly a pretty clean run around the outside. Will he be able to get there? It's going to be close at start finish. He will. Pierre Gasly still set at the last second. Pierre Gasly picks up race win number two on the season, uh, robbing Alexander Albon right at the last second. Albon will come home P2. Norris P3. Russell comes home P4 with Zane Maloney and Cal Williams coming home in P5 and P6. Let's wow. Let's look at the replay. Here he is. Pierre Gasly finishes in first place. You can't say they didn't earn it. They put in an amazing performance today. George Russell continues to lead. However, Albon has actually moved himself back up into P2 and that moves himself only within five uh, of your championship leader in George Russell. So very interesting to see that. Verstappen fails to score via that late spin this afternoon. Really was a massive opportunity for Verstappen today. Uh, unfortunately, you can't capitalize on them all as uh, he will remain in P3. Pierre Gasly with his second victory of the season. It's funny, the only time that he's finished on the podium uh, this season is uh, when he's been on the top step. So good for Pierre as uh, he moves himself up to P4 at the expense of Richard Vershaw, uh, who falls down to P5. Piastri and Schumacher remain uh, in their positions respectfully. Atlanta North with four points and his first podium of the season uh, moves himself up to P8. And Zay Maloney picks up his first point uh, since his win in Australia as he moves uh, up into P9. Dewan falls down to P10. And then uh, Callum Williams scores his first ever F1 points and and, uh, although still remaining in P14. And then Jack Crawford, with his best career finish, uh, moves himself up into 16th at the expense of Jane DeRubla. Still looking for that first career, uh, pod or, uh, the, the first points this season. Um, as he falls to 17th, Sonoda falls to 18th, Hauger up to 19th with that 10th place finish, and then uh, Frederick Vesti falls to P20. In the Constructors' Championship, we only pick up three points this afternoon, but I think, uh, considering all the calamity, I think we will we'll go ahead and take what we can get uh, after this Cradian, or Cradian? crazy Canadian uh, Grand Prix weekend. Alpine come away with seven points. They do close the gap on us just a little bit, uh, but we still hold a pretty comfortable 17-point advantage uh, over the French outfit. Re Red Bull, rather, uh, failed to score as Mercedes closed that gap up uh, to two points be between themselves uh, and the big blue blobs there in P3. Ferrari also pick up four points, but ho uh, however, um, by virtue of uh, their four points and Mercedes pick Mercedes pick 
Oh my god. Mercedes picking up 10. They fall down to position number 5. Also, Alfa Romeo uh, adding 2 points to their tally as they remain in position number 8. So, uh, yeah. Canadian GP in the books. That is round number 9. Uh, done and dusted. Really, uh, really a bit confused on what our actual pace is. But uh, hopefully we'll be better off uh, as we look forward to round number 10. McLaren showed some good stuff here today. But they'll be building on that now to try and improve their results next time. Yeah, plenty for them to think about and strategize, and certainly a good enough result for now. After an intense weekend, the team ends in first place in the constructor standings. For the next round, we're heading back to the heart of the UK. Get ready for a race to remember in Silverstone, the cradle of Formula One. <laughs>